Okay, Bill, I, I just want to make you a really short video here. Uh, this is turning some, just some aluminum I found downstairs on the tag lathe using a little, one of my carbide bits. Uh, no lubrication. So I'll just show you the finish. And I don't, on aluminum and carbide, I don't use a very high feed rate. Let me true it up here a little bit first. Uh, just because I didn't index it too much on the chuck, so. Okay, I'm taking a couple thousands off here, and I'm just using, I'm just feeding it by hand, so it won't be the best finish in the world. But you can see, it turns pretty well. Okay, there we go. We got a nice cut going. All right, so you can see, uh, even with my kind of jerky uh, hand feeding, no uh, lubrication. You can see the finish is not too bad. Let me let me turn it up a little bit, take a finishing cut. I'll try to take off about a maybe a half a thousandth or so here. Let me just get All right. Or maybe one thousandths here. Okay, that's about one thousandths. Let me come back in one more thousandths. Approximately. Okay, that's one thousandths. And feed out. Okay, so you can see pretty nice. And I'm just I'm just goofing around here. I'm, I'm just uh, nothing fancy. I'm clean it up a little bit with a paper towel. All right, so you can see pretty good cut, uh, pretty nice finish, and uh, see the part there. Get the camera to focus. So you can see pretty nice finish, and that's what, uh, that's with hand feeding too. Uh, on the carriage, I don't, I don't have any sort of power feed or anything like that, and uh, that's with no um, lubrication, as you saw, and uh, taking about a thousand finish cut. Um, probably, I probably wasn't even running the lathe over a thousand RPMs, so you know, just it shows you the rigidity of the uh, machine, and I have my large chuck on, which is not perfectly balanced either, so uh, I could probably do a better finish. And you can see I don't have the uh, I don't have the carbide extended too far, but um, anyways, that's just an example of the cuts on aluminum uh, using using a carbide, uh, just a cheapy little carbide bit off of uh, eBay. Um, you know, you hit that with a little bit of 2,000 grit sandpaper or a little bit of metal polish, and you got yourself. Uh, a finished uh, surface so okay hope you enjoyed the video thanks